everybody. Welcome to Froggy Love, aka Lunatic Froggy. I got to get used to my own name change today. Damn. We have Lunatic Dad on the Lunatic Asylum. Um, we're gonna discuss. No, how... not yet. Okay. You do you. You do you. Give me hell yeah! Hell now, yeah! Now we can begin. All right, today we're going to discuss how monetization changes people. Boy, oh boy. Oh I know you've, boy. Been all, oh, you've been waiting all week for this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Monetization. It's a beautiful thing. Check out our previous podcast and everything else. Monetization is a beautiful thing. But when monetization goes ahead and literally changes the very fabric of what you started YouTube with and everything else. Dad, over the years, have ran into so many different people in his life that once Lay they down. got monetized and they got their super chats and they got their uh, ads on their videos and everything else and they started Focal, making money and everything else, that they started going ahead. And actually, I've seen it with my own eyes where they mistreat their own subscribers. They mistreat people in their chat and everything else. They try to get a little barbaric and everything else they forgot what made them go ahead and get monetized which are you the people because without the people there's no monetization nothing period and when people start getting too big of a damn head and everything else sometimes i wish that they go in and get knocked down to reality and everything else because you know what remember you could be monetized but if nobody's watching your videos guess what the monetization means shit exactly so now my question for this one dad if you're monetized and let's say you really hone in on fuck it, I don't need my people, da 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 da. How does that affect your channel? Well, first off, you will notice when you, when you start changing and, and say your content's completely the same. It's always the same. Okay, like with that. That's pretty much you know what you're gonna get and everything else. If if you're not acknowledging the people and everything else over a period of time, okay? Now, we covered this in the previous one, but I'm going to take this a little bit further, is that when you don't acknowledge nobody, now, now mind you, people will come to your channel and they will scroll down on the comments. It's natural. Us YouTubers all do it. We want to see what people are saying about the video and right. everything else. And if there's not even a heart, there's not even a thank you, there's not nothing, and you start creating that habit over a long period of time, I guarantee you, I guarantee you, one, you're going to lose subs. That, that's, that's without a shadow of a doubt. You will start to use, lose subs and everything else. Subs are important. I said it's not the most important because it is watch time and people watching your videos is most important. Your subs, though, is your base of your channel. That is your base that you're counting on to at least get some views out of your subs and everything else. Now, remember, subs are also what I like to call family and everything else. Very important. Don't just treat them as you're just a subscriber. I use the word sub because that is YouTube's term. But dad's term is that you're more than just a sub. You're a person that, that takes their time and effort to watch my videos. And in turn, dad gets paid because of the monetization process. Now, if you turn around and you turn on your people and you don't acknowledge them over a long period of time, you're going to lose sub. You're going to lose the amount of money that you're making on videos and everything else. So, yes, that is so highly important. Don't forget where you came from because too many YouTubers, they start getting bigger and they forget where they came from. I don't know about you, uh, Lunatic Froggy. I don't know if you ever experienced anybody that, you know, before they were monetized and everything else, they were all chummy, chummy, everything good, glory, glory. And then they got in a lot, lot real big and everything else. And then they forgot about Lunatic Froggy. They, they forgot like, like you even exist, but yet you were there watching their videos, sharing their shit out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or whatever. And they just forgot everything that that made them what they are. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that I have witnessed that a lot. And I just back away from the channel. I don't watch it. I don't care. Right. So now you just answered that question. Now you're one person, right? Mm -hmm. I guarantee you there's thousands of them out there that feel the same way on these bigger channels. I mean, prime example. Here, prime example. Uh, McJugger Nuggets. You know, my arch, my arch rival. Okay. 
4 million views. He does not respond to his people on his channel anymore. He, he can upload something. He'll do like one or two. That's it. He'll pin a comment and that's it. Look what's happening to his channel. He uploads a video, 4 million subscribers. Lucky he gets 40,000 views. Okay, that's shit. That is garbage. Now, you're talking about a channel that used to have, you know, 10 million views, Froggy. 10 million on a video and everything else. He forgot that the fans and the people that watched his stuff and everything else made him a millionaire. Basically, he is a millionaire. Okay, he, there's no doubt about it. But he, they, he forgot where he came from and everything else. Go back. I don't care how big you are, how many subscribers you got, how many views you get on your channel and everything else. Trust me, we're all people. We will feed off of it and everything else. We'll feel it and everything else. Like, look, guys, Dad, Froggy always says you're a big YouTuber to me. <laughs> she knows I, I kind of chuckle at that. But he he does, he, Andy also hates being called a legend or the great one or anything along those lines because of the simple fact that he believes that he is a normal period because that he cannot spell that or wear the name. Very much. Whenever we, I go into your comment section, I, I leave a comment, but I read the comments. I know you read my comments. Oh, yeah. YouTube. I get so happy and excited when you comment on my channel. I'm like, yay! <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, thank you, thank you. But again, I'm just a normal guy. Remember that. Right, and that's because of the simple fact it's not because you're a big YouTuber. It's because your dad, dad commented on my stuff. Dad liked my videos. It's on a personal level. Exactly. And that's where that came from. And it's not a, oh, my God, dad's such a big YouTuber. Oh, my God. <gasps> it's literally, hey, my dad needs to <laughs> put my channel. Uh, just like my mom. Whenever my mom comes in on, on to my live stream or when mm -hmm. my sister does, they don't see how excited I get, but I'm literally going, oh, my God, my daughter's here. <laughs> oh, my God, my mom's watching me. Oh, my God, that's so awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, the support and everything else should, should make you feel really good and right. everything else. Continue talking, Dad. But, again, what I, what I will tell everybody when – when it comes to when you are actually monetized, people get monetized and everything else. When it gets too big for the moment and everything else, you'll know, you will know as a person who's monetized on YouTube, your person will know exactly that, you know, people will sense that you've changed and everything else. Don't ever change who you are just because you're monetized. Because you know what? Again, I'm going to say it over and over again. That monetization means nothing if nobody's watching your shit and everything else. And they, bottom line, even though you get a check from YouTube, which is actually Google, you get the payment from Google AdSense, yeah. you get a payment from them. And, but really the people that are paying you are the people that are watching you exactly. and everything else because of the ads and everything else. And I can only stress it enough. I can only stress this enough. Pay attention to your people. All right. And like I said, and pay attention sometimes to the comments that come in on those videos that they'll be like, hey, why don't you do this video? We miss that kind of video and everything else. And when you start getting a lot of people asking for that, I guarantee you, you can go back to your channel, look up that video that they're talking about. I guarantee you it's probably got high view count. High view count means what? Cha-ching, period. Exactly. it right before our small interruption um why do you not like it when people call you like a super youtuber or uh, a legend or things like that due to the fact is that their intentions may be good and they probably are good because they're saying something nice about me right, right. you know and everything else but think about all the people that hear that and everything else, that their reaction may be, oh, you're just kissing his ass, or you're just trying to go ahead and build your channel through him, or you're trying to go ahead and because uh, dad is, you know, 
that he's loving, caring, and giving and everything else, that you're just trying to get the in with him and everything else. And then what ends up happening is your intentions are in the right way because you mean it only in, out of respect. Other people are taking it the wrong way and taking it like you're suck up to them or whatever. And I've had many, many times where people were like, hey, can you contact Lunatic Dad? Can you contact him for me? To ask the people in my past where they were like, hey, can you talk to Dad? Can you, you don't whatever? don't have to ask people in your past. Well, you can do it in the present too. I mean, <laughs> but but it's true though. I mean, but it's true. And I and it makes me feel kind of cheap. You know, like okay. like I'm, I'm, I'm some type of rent a whore or something or whatever the case may be. Well, see, I mean, that's the, we're going to have a whole discussion about that coming up here shortly is uh, not respecting other YouTubers based on who they have on their channel. And it's true. And it's true. Because one thing I have noticed, and like I said, I mean, uh, here, I'll bring up a Brexit, okay? That's my brother from another mother. I love that family dearly. Now, I have noticed that when dad's not on a live stream with everybody, I see it coming down. And that's disheartening to dad. That is very disheartening because Chris and Missy worked their asses off all this time and everything else. And they got you guys fabulous outlaws up there doing good shit and everything else. And what what hurts dad is that, you know, I'll, I will watch it and I'll see it and I'm like, wow. You did a two-hour live stream, 31 views. Dad pops up on there, you do a couple-hour live stream, 200 views, whatever. That, to me, is I feel so bad because I'm looking at it as you're not there for me. It's not Dad's channel, okay? But I do know it comes with the territory, okay? Um, people will see Lunatic Dad, and they'll be like, oh, my God, it's Lunatic Dad and everything else. But that's where... I'm not even comfortable in my own skin sometimes if we're on a live stream or whatever because I do pay attention. I'm a big analytical person, big time analytical. So when I see that happening, I'm like, man, why why are they not able to draw these people in when I'm not there and everything else? And and it's not right. And to me, it's not right because they do have great content and they do more than just live streaming. Like you said, they do the investigations and everything else. Chris working his ass off and everything else. So yes, does it bother dad in a way? Yes, it does. And and as I said before, and you know, like in the past, I used to always give super chats. I mean, like crazy and everything else. And But then what ended up happening there is that people go ahead and take advantage of that. They're like, well, just subscribe, subscribe and get them on your channel and everything else. I was naive and dumb in the beginning. You know, I'd be like, oh, fuck it, it's $10. Not. $30, but whatever, I don't care. So that's why dad does, you know, stuff for certain people behind the scenes that I don't want nobody to know nothing because exactly. the, the what you do for I, other people I'm, is what you do for other people, and that's yes. just how it is. And that's how it is, exactly. Now, exactly. I, I have a really good question. Oh boy. I need you to think about this one. How does long do we got? Fame bring out the darkest part of you that was always there or does fame change a person well i'm gonna be honest with you here now this is something that is kind of contradictory to everything i just said and you're gonna be like dad wow uh, whoa that's opposite of what you just said in the beginning when i started youtube okay very beginning and i said this story to you before a video came out that I didn't even know what YouTube was or nothing. Dad destroys computer. Right, okay. Kyle. Yeah. And I seen a lot of hate. I mean, believe it or not, there's a lot of hate messages on that video and everything else. But it took dad only like a month or whatever to get up to a thousand subscribers. Zoom. I was like, holy shit, these damn people are fucking nuts and everything else. But in the beginning, I was like, yeah. But then what ended up happening is over time as dad was growing and getting bigger and bigger and bigger and everything else that there was, I, I, I even caught myself that I started getting a little cockiness to myself. I did. I mean, it's human nature and everything else, but I was brought back down to earth. I was brought back down to earth when I seen, you know, that I was not treating the people that actually supported me, cared about me, and everything else and cared about my family and everything 
and I basically just shunned them, you know, hey, hey, can we talk or whatever? No, 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 no I'll, I'll get to it. Uh, you know, I'm busy or whatever. And I wasn't even doing anything or whatever. I was just like, no, I don't because I'm talking all the time online. I'm always, you know, trying to build the channel. And I was like, man, I'm just tired. Instead of me just coming out and telling them, no, I'm just tired and everything else. I, I'm not in the mood to go ahead and sit on uh, live streams and everything else. But I made excuses and everything else, which was which was wrong on my part. I should have just been straight up honest and just said, no, I'm just tired. I'm worn out and everything else. I, I just I just don't want to talk, basically, and everything. But uh, I would honestly say far as having my head up so high and everything else. Now, at this point in time in my life, all my content, whatever I put up and everything else is for my grandbabies. And every day, my grandkids. It's all about my legacy now. It's no longer about right. growing, getting bigger, or whatever. It's not about that no more. I I really don't give two shits about it. If it happens, it happens. They subscribe, they do whatever. I don't care anymore because I've already made it to the point to where Kyle, believe it or not, since we were talking about monetization and everything else, the Kyle, this channel will be monetized to the day I die. It'll never be demonetized. It's and impossible. <clears throat> Yeah, and then with his child or whatever, right. you know. But if he has the, children, if he does, well, he, I think he will. Yeah, he's a little horn dog. He he like he likes the you know the the furry pie. He likes that and everything. I know this. I caught him one time. That's another story. Oh my That's god. Another story for another day. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I don't want to let that out there too soon, but yeah. I will let it out there sometime. Does fame change who you are? It hasn't changed me. Per se. Personal. I'm talking big YouTubers. Does it change big YouTubers? There is no doubt in my mind fame gets to their head and everything else. Go back. Again, I bring up McJugger Nuggets. Go back to the early days of McJugger Nuggets. I mean, his early videos, people. Go to the early days where he only got a thousand views, fifteen hundred views. You'll see every person he's saying thank you to and he's talking to and everything else. Now go to his big videos and everything else. You won't even see hearts, nothing. So, yes, I do believe like like Michael from AGP. AGP, I love that man. May you rest in peace, my brother, and everything else. But Michael, I mean, I, I really don't like Michael myself. I mean, I, this is the first time I'm ever letting this out there. Again, on the Froggy, your channel, I'm letting it out there. I really don't like him and everything else. I think that he's ignorant, and I think that the the man, his head has gotten so big that he has forgotten his people that and it wasn't him it was agp that made him and everything right. else i mean well, and you, the reason uh, that i ask is because now like we now have, remember now remember honey though now remember a lot of times these big youtubers get that that is that complex and everything else is because they started out making fifty dollars a month so now they're making a hundred thousand dollars a month okay a right. hundred thousand so I would say not necessarily the fame changed them, but I say the money changed them and their lifestyles and what they were able to do that they feel that they are superior to the average man. Okay, and the reason that I bring this up is because I watch, I watch a lot of diversity drama channels just because drama sells. But no, um, I'll bring up, up a couple big YouTubers. Call Me Chris, Selena Spooky Boo. Sam and Kobe, um, they really go out and they help people. I mean, Selena Spooky do, Selena Spooky Boo, she went out and for Christmas, she paid a lady's bills. They give three thousand dollars worth of Christmas presents a year. Call me Chris, who also is dating Oompaville, who lives down in Texas, constantly gives out and helps people so does sam and kobe but then on the other aspect of that you got james charles um jeffrey star uh, uh colleen on her ex-husband josh the mm. stuff that they're that's coming out about them it's like why would you do that mm -hmm. Well, <clears throat> again, as you said, you watch it, drama sells, right? Yeah. Well, their content also sells. 
at the same point in time. Remember, remember, love or hate to these big YouTubers doesn't matter. Views are views. That that algorithm doesn't know. You can put the thumbs down all you want. By the way, it means nothing, people. Whoever told you that, a lot of thumbs down that they won't show your video. Full of shit. Because the algorithm only knows that an action has been done on a channel. Word to the so wise. The best way to get them off of the platform and get them out of the algorithm, all these bad people. Don't watch. Don't watch them. Don't like their shit. Don't dislike their shit. Mm -hmm. Just literally ignore them. And I'm, my mom brought up that she likes watching uh, Jeffree Star because he does. He doesn't do like way out there looks. He does okay. normal Amber needs looks. Help with her car. What? Amber needs help with her car. And it's getting dark. So I will be right back. Pause, pause it. it. She has no clue, but that's okay. We that's love okay. Our mom also. And yes, I got the Pepsi bomb off too, Nico. Again, yeah. Once again, it's out of enjoyment because I love her. She's an amazing woman. Not Wait, you? Tick mom. Oh my gosh, she's so famous. Yeah, yeah famous. Fact, she has had people come up to her and be like, tick mom." And you know, I I was gonna talk about that and everything else. That as you start getting more and well known and everything else. You also got to be careful out in today's society because what happens if it's some dude or whatever and he's seen your my videos and he didn't like that and he wanted to whoop my ass saying, man, how can you act like that or get pissed like that and something happens or whatever. See, right. that is that is something that, you know, a lot of people, when you were talking about getting famous and everything else, when you start getting, like I said, I got over, what, 22 million views on my channel. 22 million, girl. So... I, you're bound to run into somebody that may not like you too much and everything else. But that's the risk you take when you're up on YouTube or any social media platform. And you got to be careful. You know, that'll be another subject another day about stalkers oh, yeah. and people that, that are up on YouTube and everything. And there are experiences. I, I got a whole list of them. But Nobody we'll save that for another day. Yet, so. but well, yeah. Since I know a lot of the people that do follow me, um, a lot of the males that do follow me, well, do have you're, an infatuation you know. with me. What do you think? Hello? Come on. So, one day, Froggy could get kidnapped. <laughs> no, because then I would have to go grab my nine, and I'd have to find out <laughs> where, where the fuck Froggy you are. Is. I'll be like, no, no, no. Dad's I need gonna, to... Dad's going to insert an air tag up my asshole just so that <laughs> Oh, I'm going to put a damn, what do they call that, a, a chip. A that GPS I put... chip on me? Yeah, so I'll shove it in, and then I'll be like, whenever I need to activate it, I'll be like, I know exactly where she is. And they're never going to go ahead and find out where the hell I, how I know. Exactly. I'm okay you, with You it. never know where that chip's going to be. <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> it could well, be on my shoes. It, 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 could be. it could be it could be but no all bullshit aside though you know uh when when you're talking about with the mon monetization how it changes people and everything else i believe that uh people are only going to change if they are really high up i'm talking you know making buku bucks, buku bucks and everything else. But i mean are can they change just by getting monetized you know where people go from yeah. I don't people go from where they're not monetized even though they're working towards monetized to being <laughs> where they never ask for donations and all of that to all of a sudden they're like uh yes don't yes. forget to donate don't forget to donate don't forget to yeah. donate yeah and them are the channels dad stays far away from and everything else because that tells me that it's not even money. It, it's only about the money and it's nothing about the content you know i i don't got a problem with you know people who donate to people or whatever yeah i mean if it's good quality content the person you see that you know they're investing in their channel and they're having a high quality content and everything else and they're taking their time and hours of video coverages and of different things and everything else well you know what if you're monetized i've always said it there's nothing wrong with, you know, like I told you this before on Dad's channel. I always tell people, if you want to become a member, great. 
That's the only thing you ever hear out of my mouth if I'm ever live streaming, which I don't live stream hardly at all. You know, even though all all my beautiful fans and family keep on saying, go live, Dad, go live. And I don't. I mean, I it's, don't it's, go live because of the simple fact that he has a very busy life. Monday through Friday, he is working. Friday nights, he does Froggy time. And then Saturday and Sunday is his family time. Unless he doesn't have anything going on, then he jumps on other people's lives. Why? Correct. Because dad has, it's easier to be on other people's lives. So you don't have to focus on the chat. You don't have to answer the chat, which yeah. being live, you have to answer that chat, which is really important in any channel. Is yeah, answering the chat. <laughs> it is. It is. And that's why I love doing these simulcasts with you and everything else, because I can just, you know, kick back, relax. If I want to have a cigarette, we want to pause it, go take a piss or, or whatever, you know, like Amber had to check her car out. OK, let's pause it or whatever. Right. You can't can't do that on a live stream you know if, exactly. if you're if you're the only one live streaming and you got to go do something for 20 30 minutes or whatever and your your chat is popping and a lot of people are in there you walk away I guarantee you by the time you come back in 30 minutes that, that chat is not the same exactly you know? because they're gonna get bored staring at a blank wall now there are people that do like intermissions but mm -hmm. while they're doing an intermission they literally throw up a video so you have yep. something to watch. And, and in my case, I do have my OBS, and I have downloads of some of my videos and everything else. Like I said, my, uh, I mean, one of my dad's most favorite videos, and you talked about monetization and everything else. Well, when the, me and Mama did the Lunatic Game Show and everything, if anybody really asked what is my favorite video, that was the one. That was the one because me and Mama were involved, and we were like two little damn kids guessing what the person was writing on the card and everything else. What do you and, think you should bring back? Bring back well, Lunatic Dad's was, game show with Mom. That was a dirty one. I mean, it was messy as hell, girl. It, not. it was flour, eggs, everything, all in my hair. Well, I didn't have hair, but in Mama's hair, she had the eggs, she had the flour all up in there and everything else. And that's because, well, she won the game, but she said something smart-ass to Dad. So dad went ahead and picked up all the shit and just dumped it all on her. <laughs> I could see you do that. Well, yeah, yeah. Now, <clears throat> but no. Another question for you. You see uh, YouTubers who are out there and they never read the chat. Once they get monetized, they stop reading the chat. How bad does that affect their channel? Massively, massively. Even when I used to live stream a lot. <clears throat> Remember, I used to live stream a lot. But the key is always, that's number one, pay attention to your chat. Because, because, remember, I keep on saying it, these people don't have to be there. Mind you, if you're doing it at 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock at night or whatever, and they're sitting there talking and wailing away and everything else, at least you as the host can at least be pay homage to them, pay thankfulness to them and everything else. Right. Because at the end of the day, remember, you're monetized. So before they come into your live stream, they're going to get an ad at every time, guaranteed. If I, I went live premium. right now, well, we already discussed about the premium. Me and you are both premium. See, we are exactly like We don't like them damn ads. But they sure to help pay the YouTubers we watch, I promise you. Right, which, once again, having premium, it's literally just, you don't get the ads like other people do. But they get paid for those ads. Yes, they do. And and at a premium. That's why it's called premium. Is for us, the creator, we get a premium pay on, on those ads because of what they what they pay. I should have asked this in the other video, but I'm gonna ask it now because mm -hmm. my dumb brain. Now let's say I rewatch a video of yours and I just rewatch it and rewatch it and rewatch it. Yeah. Do you get paid every time I rewatch it? Yes, every time the ad pops up. Every okay. time. Every time. And <clears throat> nine times out of ten, well, actually, actually, can almost say ten out of ten, you can actually play a Lunatic Dad video and shut it off, play it again, and it, another ad will pop up on the new video and everything else. See, once you're monetized and you're fully monetized, uh, someone can watch the video 30 times or whatever if they, you know, because sometimes they try to nitpick at that and find something that's, oh, that's fake or no, this, you know, try to find something or whatever. 
and they don't, but they do try, and they'll rewatch it and rewatch it, and they'll be like, oh, this bullshit and everything else. I watched it five times, and then sometimes I'll turn around and be like, fucking A right, dude. Watch it another five times and I watch all them damn ads. And then once once you know that you're actually getting bigger and bigger on YouTube, YouTube will start putting what's called non-skippable ads, okay? When that happens, like dad has non-skippable ads on some of his videos. Like my bigger videos, there's non-skippable ads. You got to watch the whole damn thing. Otherwise, you can't watch the video and everything. Them pay more. They that That's something that we didn't discuss. There are different kinds. You got the skippable kind, you know, or the kind that after five seconds, you can skip it and everything else. But then you got the non-skippable ads. Them are the ones you must play through. Otherwise, you can't watch the video. And them pay the creator more money. You get paid a lot more for non-skippable ads because they pay more. It's a grand thing that literally I have it where he, it skips it and I don't have to watch it because those mm -hmm. ones are the ones that I really close out of because it's like, ugh, I hate commercials. Unless but I am doing something otherwise and I'll just throw my phone down go potty or whatever and come back. But you know, sometimes though, YouTube, some of the ads on there is, I, I'll give them credit. Some of the people that are, you know, putting their ads on there and everything is something you may be interested in. See, the way they look at it is they're going by your view count on your channel. Okay, now mind you, just because you're monetized, fully monetized, doesn't mean you're going to get ads all the time. If you're the type of channel and you're fully monetized and you're getting 10, 15 views, you're going to see your your people wanting to go onto your channel and put the ads is going to be less. Now, a channel ads and everything else, yeah, uh, no matter what I put up, the, the, they're already pre-bought the ads. See, when you get bigger and everything else, that's another thing I didn't cover is that when you get bigger and everything else, there are set ads that I know are already on my channel even before I upload it. I already know, okay? Right. And then political season, that's when YouTubers, hello, upload, 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 upload like crazy. You know why? Because they are going to fill your channel up, and if you're the person that gets a lot of views on your... On your November or December. Oh, no, they'll start in April. Like April... Well, that's when the, you'll start seeing ads. They'll start throwing things up there, talking about something bad about the other person. I, I used to get Donald Trump shit always on my channel. Don't ask me why, considering that I am anti-Trump. But anyway, that, that that's here nor there. <laughs> but, I mean, yeah, there is there's a way that, you know, like I said, it's it's weird how YouTube goes ahead and does their system and everything else. I wish, but then again, you know, like I said, you got to understand, these people are paying uh google and everything for these ads to have their product on their platform so they want to most uh get the most meat you know out there so they're going to go to your bigger channels and everything else now the object to that is like i said once you start growing and everything else don't stop do not stop because eventually once i i can honestly say probably once you get to about average five to a thousand views a video uh, it all depends on the type of ad, but usually 500 to 1,000 uh, views on a video should get you anywhere between 7 and $12. Right. That, that's, that's about the average and everything else. Now, dad and everything else, the, we got what's called a CPM. Okay, CPM is when the video ads are worth more according to the size of your channel. Now, if I, now like say dad just gets 1,000 views on a video or whatever. Believe it or not, that video probably paid dad about fourteen to sixteen dollars. Right. And that's only a thousand views. Now imagine these big ass YouTubers who get ten million views. What do you think their CPM is and how much money probably they're making? Probably about ten thousand to a hundred thousand per video. Per video? Yeah. And when they're uploading daily content, that's ten to a hundred thousand per day. And that and that gets back to what I was talking about, McJugger Nuggets and everything else. What when he came clean and everything else, I was like, dude, you just threw away millions of dollars in the future. I was like, you're not a smart businessman and everything else, even though you knew it was fake or whatever the case may be. But when he was at his height, remember he came out and said it was fake and it was all staged from the beginning. Imagine if he never did that in all these years. Now it's been almost five years since he came out and gave the truth. 
and everything. Imagine if he didn't do that in that five years and kept on doing fucking videos with his old man and everything else. That man would have had money coming out of his ass. But once yeah. he exposed that it was fake and he admitted it, now his channel, look what happened. That's what I was saying. Drama sells, drama sells. And McJugger Nuggets channel is proof of that. Exactly. Now, based on the basis of the channel set, both you and I have Destruction and Paranormal, which there are Destructive Paranormal channels, which is weird. Uh, really? Yeah, they destroy divot boxes, which is stupid. Uh, <laughs> which then bad things happen to them. Or they'll mm. destroy a haunted item or whatever. I uh, fucking wouldn't need haunted, man. I'm sorry. I ain't destroy. Even Lunatic Man is afraid to fucking destroy that. No, I'm good. <laughs> Based off of those type of channels, what would you say is the biggest clickbait that you could think of or how a channel like that would change because now let's say they at first they're really destroying divot boxes but then you mm -hmm. notice something odd that you know it's something stupid in the divot box which i will tell you right now a divot box will have personal items in them of mm. the person that they're trying to right. whatever for. Right. Or I've a heard of haunted it. item. Mm -hmm. Who, but then they turn around and they clickbait that it's a haunted item and it's just a regular item. Or they clickbait that it's a divot box, but it's just a regular box that they just made. What would you say why would you say they would change well let let's let's go back from the beginning of it now mind you when they first started doing it were they successful Probably. were they were they making subscribers were they making money Probably. okay so if the answer is yes to the previous questions i just asked why wouldn't they stop and try to change it and just make it more like not real or whatever the case may be because remember if they're already at that level and everything else and they and it worked and they made a lot of views and a lot of money off it they're going to continue to do it right. remember remember what i i've always said honey the bigger youtubers it's not about you or me it's, it's about i'm a view okay and they they don't know lunatic dad okay <laughs> even though you know they lunatic dad. <laughs> well they should know you too lunatic froggy no doubt about it but but it's people like us who watch these videos and everything else that's why when I watch them, I don't even leave a comment on any, like, even if I like some or whatever, I don't leave a comment on the real big ones or whatever, because I know they're not going to fucking say anything. I mean, I used to, I used to, in, back in the day, mess with McJugger Nuggets purposely. I'd be like, yeah, some more fake ass shit, huh? And everything else. And he would it never. Tries. Yeah. Oh, I tried to. I tried to purposely to just fuck with him and everything else and then i was like man i'll box your old man i would do it for charity come on now come on let's let's see what this man's got and everything i said this lunatic will destroy psycho dad and everything and and nothing 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 and and then after a while i was like what are you doing man what are you doing they are so far ahead of you and on youtube and everything else you are just a piss in a bucket to them and everything else if a bit if a big youtuber has nothing to gain from you he will not acknowledge you he will not try to go ahead and uh get with you or talk with you or whatever the case may be they won't do it they won't do it okay i i could understand so that they're better than you are yes and also you know don't forget now being that big and that many views and comments and everything else they're probably into more business adventures than just youtube right. and everything else they're probably like, look, I'm putting up, I'm working my ass off to try to put up really sharp content and everything else. I don't have time. I don't have time. Now, I, I could see both sides of the fence on this. You know, sometimes you get too wrapped up in everything else that maybe you really don't have time. But at least, you know, when you first put up a video, the first 20, 30 comments, at least make it look like you're making an attempt to show an acknowledgement to your fans that are really basically putting that food on the table for you. Exactly. Well, and that, that that's 
kind of brings me into the next, like, conversation piece of this one. Because we're talking about how monetization changes YouTubers. How does monetization improve YouTubers? Now, we've gone with the negative. Let's go with the positive. Uh, that That is great. That is great. Now, I am a prime example of this. Again, opposite of what I just got done saying. <laughs> okay? But... Remember, I said I went through stages on YouTube. I went through the good, first started out. Then I went to the more or less had my nose up and everything and my shit don't stink and everything. Then I came back down to reality. And now I'm at where I'm at now and everything else. Where it has changed me personally over a period of time is that I want to be able to give back. I want to be able to say, hey, if I can help you out, maybe let's jump on a videos. Let's let's. You know, do live streams together. Let's, you know, let me let me tweet you out a lot. Let me put you on my community tab. That's my way of saying, hey, thank you. I, I, I don't take you for granted and everything else. And that, you know, there are a lot of really good YouTubers out there that are bigger and everything that I have seen and everything over time that I are really, really, you know, grateful for what they do have. Like I said, my nephew, my my nephew, best in class that I've said it a million times. You know, I told you about him couple ones ago and everything else got over four million subscribers and everything else but he's very humble he's a very humble young man and everything else he didn't let the youtube get his head and everything else i mean shit that kid's made more money than i made in my lifetime girl let me tell you <clears throat> but the point i'm trying to make is that when you when you realize that there is so much good out there that's all you got to do is open your eyes to it just open your eyes to it. There are so many people out there. Look, look at me and you and everything else. It's a beautiful friendship. It's a it's it's two people that love one another and and do anything for one another and everything else. And that doesn't come by every day, especially no, especially on these internets and social medias and everything else. You know, like I said, Chris, Chris and Missy. I met Chris the first time when he came to my home and everything. The very first YouTuber that ever came to my home and everything and I'll else. Be the second. I know you will. And you and Mama can go have some damn breakfast or something, whatever the fuck you're going to do. I'll go with you, though, by the way. Uh, but the point being, point being is that when you bend, when you meet some really good people and everything else, don't, don't ever think that you're above them. Don't ever think that because you made it or whatever, your channel's doing great or whatever. Because believe me, as quickly as you can go up, as quickly as you can go down. Exactly. And it, so oh, I like to just say, as I say, even keel. I just want to stay even keel. Right. I don't need some gigantic fucking YouTuber or whatever the case may be. Just, I'm dead. That's it. That's it. That's exactly. all I want. Just as a guy who's just, I'm out on the social internets and everything else. And that's all, that's all I ever wanted to do. And, all I ever, and the reason I bring that up is because one of my big things has always been helping people. Whether I've gotten taken advantage of or not. I've always wanted to help people. Like, I've given up houses to help people, okay? Mm. Mm. Two. That's where I want my channel to go, is to help people. Whether I go out shopping or I go out, you know, to a lake and just really hone in on zenning myself or come up there do you think i ain't gonna come up there and try uh, and take nice make you and mom all dressed up and take very nice photos of you all you know someplace really cute of course i'm going to why because that's what i like then i can print go get it printed <laughs> off have it framed and sent up to you guys so you always have that picture but Mm -hmm. That's always been my thing is to help people. So to listen to all these YouTubers who don't want to help people and don't care about people is just really um, disheartening. And that's why I brought up the good part of it, too. Uh-huh. And imagine all these gigantic YouTubers. Imagine if they just did a shout-out to just random people and everything right. else. Because I'll tell you what, if Dad was the size of McJuggernuggets or angry grandpa that size i'd be shouting out people like 
fucking crazy. Just just because I'd be like, you know what? What the fuck difference? I can see a channel. I like it. Whatever. Boom. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get everybody. I, believe it or not, people laughed at this statement I made a long time ago on YouTube. I forgot what stream I was on. I think it was with Cap7. I'm, I'm not sure. But it might have been. Or Green Bay Wacky, one or the other. <clears throat> but I, Yeah. Okay. Uh, anyway. Uh, there you go. Cab even. That's my boy. He's good. But uh, but the point I'm trying to make is I said, imagine if these big YouTubers just started making everybody gigantic. YouTube would go insane. Because why? Why? Because they'd be paying out a lot of money. They literally can end a lot of poor people's lives just by shouting them out and doing it. Trust me. If you remember, you know Jack Septicai, right? No. Well, he's now extremely famous. Now, Jack Septicai, he is one of Dad's I personal cool dudes. I, I like him. I mean, he's he's funny as fuck, and every great content. Anyway, he started out at YouTube at a thousand subscribers. Right. Pewdie PewDiePie shouted him out, got over ten million. God damn. PewDiePie shouted him out. See, and that's where I think <clears throat> that. The bigger YouTubers. Oh. We are rocking and rolling. We have covered. We got so much more stuff coming out. People, you have no idea. This, this, this. Well, I got to point that way. I, I'm, I'm so used to it. I'm left-handed and I'm pointing right. But. Lunatic Froggy and Lunatic Dad, we've got all kinds of content coming out. People, just stay along for the ride. Hit the subscribe. Hit that thumbs up. Share it out on your Twitter, Instagram, or whatever the hell else you got, Facebook. But I'm going to tell you guys something. This lady next to me, she is a dream come true to Dad because her intelligence, her beauty. And yes, believe it or not, she is funny. And everything else. We will have times when we're just going to talk a lot of shit and everything else. And maybe, hey, maybe we might go ahead and bust on each other. Who knows? Yeah. Dad, don't take that shit personal. It's okay. But no, on all serious. Dad is going to roast Froggy. Oh, I will have fun at doing that. Oh, I will have fun. No <laughs> doubt about it. No doubt about it. And the only guys... reason I say that is it's going to be a pre-record. Mm-hmm. So... Y'all oh. have to pay attention and watch for that pre-record of Dad just roasting Froggy. And I do have full intentions of doing this. This will happen, not when. Well, I should say when, not if. But I will, that like happens. I said, I will honestly say this has been such a joy and a refreshment to Dad and everything else that I, I, like I said, I, I said it every time. I love the shit out of your girl. And I wish you nothing but success. And me and you are a great team. Yeah. And and like I said, until they bury me, hey, you know what a funny part about it is? We'll probably have about 2,000 uploads and shit. But that's okay because hey, we're, we're having the time of our lives. You, I'm still going to get the necrophonics out. All right, Dad, it's Saturday. We need to do our Friday. We need to do our podcast. <laughs> yeah, and then, then all of a sudden it comes over the damn thing. Give me a hell, yeah. <laughs> and then you'll be like, Dad, are you in hell? I'll be like, no, I'm not. Don't even, don't accuse me of being in a fucking hell. That's my saying, don't you know that? And you'll be like, damn, I think I woke up the dead, didn't I? <laughs> right. But all bullshit, guys. Thank you very much for stopping by we my beautiful talk. We love each and every one of you. And Froggy's going to end it her style because I love when she ended her style. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, this is part one. There will be a part two. We got so much more to cover on how YouTube monetization changes people, whether for good or bad. Um, we greatly appreciate everybody that watches my videos. Um, we make, we want to thank you from the bottom of my heart and his. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we love you all. Bye. Bye.